Hi, this is the second video in the playlist on working with the cosine rule. Now it is pitched at a fairly high level GCSE maths and it's uh, an example of the kind of question that you're going to come across at GCSE. So I'm just going to go right ahead and put this up on the board. Okay, and what we've got here is a very, very badly drawn triangle, okay? It looks nothing like that, so I'm going to do that again. Uh, where's my cloth? Hang on a second. Okay. Um, let's do that again, shall we? Alrighty. Okay, you can see that I'm actually covering from the... Uh, I'm copying from the notes here. Um, so, a fairly typical exam question would be something like this. That's a little bit better. Okay, and the information that we're given is this is 15 centimetres, um, this is 8 centimetres, and this along here is 70 degrees. Now, fairly typically with a lot of these type of questions is they put the designation in slightly differently to the way that you've got it written on the formula sheet, and they'll call it P, Q and R, and what they'll say is, is they want you to find PQ. So what's PQ? In other words, what's this length here? Okay, um, best suggestion with this, just ignore it and relabel because it'll mean it's a little bit easier when you start to work through and start to use the formula. So um, the bit that you need to relabel is that this angle here is angle A, which means the opposite here, the bit that we're trying to find out is length A. Okay, this side here, which is opposite Q, is no longer opposite Q. It's going to be opposite, uh, we'll call it angle B. So this is small case B. Okay, this is no longer P, I'm going to call it C. And this is small C. Okay, and that means then that I've got the correct um, letters that fit in very neatly with the formula that I've got, which is at the front of the exam paper on the formula sheet which is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. Okay, so then it's just a case of plugging the numbers in and that will give us the value of a when we finally calculate them through. Okay, so uh, b squared, well that's b is here which is 15. Now bearing in mind uh, with all of these questions, they don't apply to right angle triangles. Right angle triangles generally tend to use Sokotoa, so just be a little bit careful of that. What you're usually given is this length here, the angle that's included, and then this length here. Okay, so um, B squared is going to be 15 squared, plus C squared, which is going to be 8 squared minus 2 times b again 15 times c which is 8 times the cosine of 70 degrees okay now hopefully you can see that okay on the video now if you plug that into your calculator and calculate that through that will give you 206.9145 um, dot 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 Okay, now bearing in mind that this is the value of a squared, so just be very, very careful at this point that this isn't 206 centimetres. It wouldn't, wouldn't quite be right on the, on the drawing or on the triangle itself. So you've got to remember that you've got to do the square root of this. Well, the square root of this means that you get the value of a, which is 14.4. Now very, very typically with these questions, they will ask you to calculate this to something like um, one decimal place or three significant figures. This particular uh, calculation is to three significant figures. Okay, so um, it's also a very good idea, apart from relabeling, but also to check it just a little bit, to ask yourself, is that a reasonable value of a well it is it's fairly reasonable okay that that's likely to be 14 and a bit centimeters if that's eight and that's 15 it seems reasonable that it's going to be about 14 14.4 14 in this particular case um i hope that's been okay for you um 
please do add a comment below if you're not sure. Um, also subscribe to the site and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.